So I'm going to smash this out pretty fast. Integration resulting in this thing here. Now, if you see something of this form, integral 1 over ax plus b with respect to x, you're going to get an answer that looks like that. Please note this little uh, absolute value in here. All right, so our worked example, something like this. Now, you might notice there's a 5 on the top, not a 1 on the top. That's okay because we can rewrite it. I'll put my equal signs here. Rewrite it as 1 over 2x plus 4 with that 5 out the front. And now we'll get 5 times whatever's there. 5 times 1 over a ln absolute value 2x plus 4 and a c on the end. And that 5 times a half is obviously 5 over. Now the question as written and our solution as written is just like a little bit off. Uh, because this function can't exist when uh, the bottom of it is equal to 0. So in other words, 2x plus 4 cannot equal 0, which means 2x cannot equal negative 4, which means x cannot equal negative 2. So really, when this question is expressed, it should have a little x is not equal to negative 2. And also, when this is expressed, we should have a little x is not equal to negative 2. Why, when this is expressed, can x not equal negative 2? Because if we put negative 2 in here, we'd have 0 here. And if we had 0 here, we'd be asking for ln e to the 0 equals x, and there is, oh, I shouldn't say x, equals k, and that can't happen. That's not going to work. Okay, so we do have a restriction on both this function and our solution. All right, so that's it. That's really what I had to show you here. Now, if you're curious about why this would be a thing, stick around and I'll explain why that's happening. So integrals and derivatives are opposites of each other. So what we just did was start here and move to here, but we can also show that it works the other way. Derivatives generally are easier than integrals. All right, so what I have here is find the derivative of that. Now you notice I don't have a little 1 over 2 here, we'll get to that in a minute. And the plus c, well the plus c could be any number, but when I derive that number, it's going to disappear. So finding the derivative of all of this with the plus c is going to be the same as finding the derivative without the plus c. So let's make our life a little bit easier. Now this tends to split into two cases. We have this case, which feels pretty straightforward, uh, ln positive 2x plus 3. And this case here, ln negative 2x plus 3. Because if we have this absolute value here, we need to consider the positive case and the negative case. Now, both of these are examples of chain rules. So this uh, derivative here, I'm going to let that 2x plus 3 equal u. And the derivative of all of that is going to be equal to the derivative of ln u, replacing that with u, times the derivative of whatever u was, 2x plus 3. Now, the derivative of ln u, you should know, is 1 on u, and the derivative of 2x3 is 2. So what we're left with is 2 on u, but our u is not u, it's 2x plus 3. So we're left with 2 on 2x plus 3. Now, that should look familiar. We're pretty close to having a 1 on ax plus b. The complicating factor is this 1 on a out the front. So if we started with 1 on 2 here and put that 1 on 2 outside of our derivative, which we can do, we have 1 on half, 1 half there, 1 half there, 1 half there. We get 1 half times 2 on 2x plus 3, which gets rid of that 2 and brings us to our 1. I'm not going to do that here, but you can see how close we are. We just need to divide by that a value. Now, the procedure's identical here, but it does lead to something interesting. Uh, let's let uh, 2x plus 3, negative 2x plus 3, equal u. And then let's write this line out again. Now, once we've done that, we can see the only difference here is a negative 2x plus 3. The derivative of ln u is 1 on u. So far, so good. The derivative of that is negative 2. And you might be thinking, I'm... I'm heading towards a different answer here. This is a problem because it's supposed to w work for both cases, but in actual fact, our u here is negative 2x plus 3. Uh, put the bracket in the right spot. 
over negative 2. And now those negatives top and bottom cancel out to give 2 over 2x plus 3, which is the same as that. This means that whether we have the positive case or the negative case, we end up in the same spot. And we can use this fact to go from here to there. Because what we did over there was go from there to there. All right, that's integration resulting in this wild formula.